The 17th of December 2022, just another week before Christmas or the Christmas week and I hope you're having a great time with the shopping and wherever you are in the world if you are celebrating. This video today is just a review starting from October 2021 near enough up to August of this year, a review what's happened with the Free Gorgia Dam. Now these are just some snippets that I've taken from my channel, but if you do want to watch the full videos, I do have all the links in the description below. Let's go back in time to October 2021. And before we start, I am going to apologize for the sound quality. When I'm editing, I will try my best to make it as good as possible. Here we go. Very strange indeed, because if we go to the next picture here, this is not the up-to-date picture, but go to any streaming website. And as of this morning, the floodgates are not open at 171. Very strange indeed, because two weeks ago, I said this before, two weeks ago, gates one, two, three, four were open. Now, this could be a reason, or one of the reasons could be that if they do open four floodgates, then Wuhan is going to be flooded. Let's move forward to January of this year, 2022, when two dams in China, this was massive news, when two dams actually collapsed in Inner Mongolia. Heavy rains in Inner Mongolia lead to the collapse of a dam. Okay, so what you can see here, I have slowed down and you can see this happened due to heavy rains of the summer of 2021. And I was looking for this footage for a very, very long time indeed. I haven't taken, I've taken out the sound of this so you can actually see the actual dramatic effect. It moves on to the second frame and you can see this is after the whole dam has collapsed and there's a small tsunami of water which goes into the plains and rushes down at an incredible speed to collapse bridges and also to flood highways, freeways and motorways which you can see here. It's, this is what happens when an old dam is not maintained. It is absolutely shocking. And when it does reach the city and the subways, you can see unprepared for any kind of disaster like this. And it's just, again, words cannot describe. Now, I am taking away the, the COVID-19 situation in China with the quarantines and the lockdown. You may remember earlier this year in April and May and even March, you could say, there was a serious lockdown in Shanghai. And this lockdown, delivery drivers weren't allowed to deliver food, people were going hungry, and it was sort of like a really bad time there. But we're not showing that. We are showing just the free gorges, TOEFL dredge buildings, complexes, etc. like that. <laughs> Let me just show you some, and I mean just some, of the TOEFL Dreg projects which have failed. And for certain reasons, the two pictures I'm showing you here just for now are two bridges in 2021 which have collapsed because of the poor building materials, which you will see in a little while as well. And I did show you a picture or a video about three weeks ago of one dam in Inner Mongolia collapsing. It looked like this. But that led to a tidal wave, a tidal bore, so to speak. Yeah, I don't know what could you call it a river bore when this tsunami hits a second dam. Because of the unprecedented rains or just bad construction that was happening in the summer, we've sh I've shown a video of the one dam collapsing in Mongolia and, sorry, Inner Mongolia. And then because of the tidal wave, because of the river 
wave, whatever you want to call it. Hit the other one, bam. Tofil dredge projects, they are damn failures. Before the drought that happened in China, round about May time, it was the wet season and it was the usual report that happened every year that floods are in certain places in China. I think this clip I'm going to show you is related to Chongqing in the southwest of the People's Republic of China. with 130 kilometer per hour winds. And sticking with Chongqing, do you remember that warship that went up the Three Gorges? Oh, when was it? Maybe like a year and a half ago. It went up the whole Yangtze and then it docked at the Three Gorges. Well, now it's sort of like a museum. You can see some of the images there of this old, um, it looks like maybe a World War II or a whatever kind of warship. Now, quarantine in China, in some places like Shenzhen, I do believe, have some cases, looks like this. And, and this is from a Douyin. Douyin is the Chinese TikTok, just showing you how they... And the complete opposite in August. China, many parts of China were suffering with 42 degrees heat. Some people or some places were with power cuts, so imagine no air conditioning, no electric too power even the electric fan you would have to sit in your car basically to cool down and these were rolling blackouts so it would be one part of the city for three hours and it move over to that it sort of reminds me of what china was like way back in 1995 in wuhan when the summer came and boy the summers were hot in wuhan sorry in 1994 and 95 and you just had to lie on a marble floor just to keep cool hoping the electric would come back on soon so you could have the delight of air conditioning <laughs> for August 2022. This is the James Neal Cooper and today we are going to delve into more of what's happening in the Free Gorges Dam. So the very beginning you did see a picture like this. Now I'm going to leave the picture on so you don't see my ugly mutt and if you look really closely that you can see that there's very little water where the sluice gates are. Now the government and the state media have mentioned that over the next five days starting from about four days ago they are going to release some water related to the eliminating the drugs downstream of the dam now with have they or haven't they this is the question here is a short video from state media saying that they have opened the sluice gates to relieve some of the drought downstream of 500 million or 500 billion cubic meters of water. Now I am putting in the sound effects because I don't have a copyright license for the music that they are using. So there we go ladies and gentlemen, there is a quick review of you could say 2022 so far related to the i'm going to say the doom and gloom of china it hasn't been a good year for china related to two dams collapsing to the drought of the summer in certain places in china to the lockdowns of shanghai way back in may and sorry april and may of this year what's happening now in china i am covering usually on a daily report be good be well i hope that's even though this is quite sad and depressing news do enjoy the christmas period but do think of other people who may not be as lucky as you you may not have the nicest home in the world or the nicest car but you're relatively comfortable in the situation that you are in there are billions i would say of people who not so do spare 
some time for them. And if you do believe in any kind of religion, spend some time praying for them that hopefully their life is going to get a tad better. Enjoy the rest of the day. My name is James. Thank you so much.